Yo, yo, boys and girls, it's your boy Diversity here, aka Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer, with that lovely spot right on his nose there, back with another video for the channel. Hope you're all having a lovely Tuesday night. I know I am not for once because it is bloody freezing outside. I've got the heating on in front of me, the heating on to the side, the radiators, everything is on in the house right now because it is bloody freezing all over the country, especially down in Wales tonight, which is where we find South End tonight against Newport County at Rodney Parade. Where do we start with this game? We'll start with the Blues tonight for the first time in a few weeks. It's not a five at the back formation. The Lord has looked down on Mark Mosley today and said you can play a four at the back today, Mark. You might get a win, you know. So it is a good grace today. We see a few changes coming in, though. No Sam Hart tonight, so Tom Clifford replaces him at left back. And more surprisingly, Greg Halford is up top on his own to make a 4-2-3-1 formation. No Akinola starting, which is almost a big blow. I feel like if we had him and like Halford up top, that would have been so much better. But, you know... Hey, I don't make the team. But, no, like I said, it's going to be a very, very chilly night down in Rodney Parade tonight. I'm just looking here on the weather forecast, and it's set to get to maybe a minus three of heavy snow showers and a fresh breeze. But, Jesus, that I would not like to be playing on that pitch tonight. But more on to Newport. Here. They started off their season blindingly good. They were in first position for a good number of game weeks. I'm just looking up here. I think it was about 10, maybe 11 game weeks they were top of the league. And recently, they slipped down their form. They lost a game. They've drawn a few... They found themselves in eighth almost last week, and now they're back up to fourth in the table ahead of tonight's game against Blues. But little fact, Newport have been labelled as the worst pitch in League Two. To be fair, it's almost like a field, apparently. It's just not really taken care of properly, and they have had a few games called off this season because of that. But hey, it's not like Carlisle. Carlisle is just the worst. But I'm hoping tonight Blue can just nick the 1-0 win, take it back home, and let's start getting this charge back on, because we desperately need to be getting points. Now, it's, close, it's near the close of the season. We need to start picking up these points. But hopefully you stick around to the end of the video and watch for it. Come on, you blues. Go on, Elvis. Inside, yes. There's one. There's one. Come on. Second one. Laid back off into Ferguson. Ferguson into the box. Going into the goal, actually. That's, that's curling. Lots of Caught by the keeper. That was a long, high curler. Keeper's falling over while kicking the ball. Typical night in Wales here. Lovely play, Nathaniel Georgia. Out to Elvis again. Using that right-hand side a lot tonight. Are oh, we into Reco? Reco gone. Get past him. Skin him. Skin him. Gone. Cross into the box, high ball, go on Greg! Greg's absolutely just let it run out. Greggy boy, big Greg, what you doing? Go on boys, Elvis up here to Reco, Reco to Dimitri. Oh, he's done him, he's been brought down! Ref! This ref, what in the feck? Dimitri brought down, edge of the box, should have been a free kick 100% and ref hasn't blown, what is this crap? Brilliant bring down by Huff there. Legs off, Ashley and Fanny George away. Charge at them, Ash. Ash, charge. Go on. Yes, he's gone against the 15. Box. Go on. Yes, Huff and Brian down. No, he's let skin out the back of his leg. But still in the box here. Reco win it. And cleared. But Elvis is probably going to pick this up out wider. And he has. But, jeez, Blue's been on the top, I'd say, in these last couple of minutes. All over Newport, to be fair. Good play by the Blues there. Dimitri here going down the wing. Sets in. Ashley, put it in the box. Put it in the box. Yes, the cross shoot. No. Just short of Halford there. Into the fucking new, what, what's his name? Newport defender there. But picked up out here by Clifford. Going to try and go on the run. Pitch stops him though. Ball bobbled and he has to pass back. Damn. Three minutes up here at the end of additional time in the first half though. Oxley with the ball in his hands. He's just taking his sweet time. Ref just blow this. He knows we know that he likes to take his time taking these kicks. Don't know why it takes his time. I think he feels special about it. He has his moment of in the light there. Just his moment. Yep, yeah, this is my time now. I'm kicking the ball to end this half. I'm going to be the one. None of you lot. We're now 30 seconds over, by the way. Oxley has taken his sweet time on this. Ball is kicked and it's not blown. What? The it's not been blown yet. There we go. There we go. Half time in Wales. Half time review coming up. Half time at Ronnie Parade. Newport nil, Blues nil. I think both sets of fans so far in this first 45 couldn't agree that that was the poorest half of football anyone could have seen. To be fair, it was sending me to sleep almost just watching it. Both sides really lacking the finishing quality, more so South End. Working the ball well, though, I've got to say that. Tactically, on a very, very poor pitch to be playing on, and for the passing game, not really going to work well on this pitch. Blues and even Newport occasionally have had some good play going, but South End, I feel, has been really good so far. It's just that final ball we're missing out on whether it be the cross whether it be the control in the box turn and shoot especially on Greg Halford's side of things here it's just missing for us so far but to be fair I would take a draw out of this game so far we have 51% possession which I think for the first time this season we've had more possession going in at half time but they do say possession is only one part of the game it's what happens and goes in the back of the net is the other side of the coin but to be fair we need to be getting Ashley Nathaniel George and Reco more on the ball I feel they've been a bit more left out especially Reco. we know he 
can cut in on that foot so well, even send a shot or even a good cross in. We're not really using that. We're leaning more just to playing it straight through the middle, hoping Halford holds the ball up. The hoof ball tactic by all the defence is working for now, but it's only a matter of time before Newport think, oh, if they just hoof it, we'll just bring it down and work it around their defence and put it in. But to be fair, much better defensive display from Blues here, considering last time out versus Port Vale was an absolute shocker of our defensive display. But... Hopefully more to come in the second half. Hopefully a bit more liveliness in the second half from both teams. To be fair, we'd all like a goal in this game, especially Blues fans. So hopefully, I'm still confident of a 1-0 win here. We can nick it. But hey, come on the second half. Come on, the Blues. Go on, Timmy. Cross in. Edge of the box stuff here. Ferguson have the shot. He's brought it down wrong, though. He should have gone for the first time cracker. Back out to Timmy here on the wide. Lays it into, I think that's Elvis. So many new names here. Can't keep track of them here. Elvis has the ball in the corner. Trying to win himself a corner here, but has to be forced back down the line by the Newport defence. Gotta say, they're a tight, organised bunch here. Elvis is stuck here. He cannot literally do anything. He's waiting there for a good test. Then passes it off to Dimitri. Dimmy in the box. Poor ball again and cleared straight out. Dimmy's balls all this game so far. In fact, these last few games, in fact, he's had really poor like possession stats first sub of the night for the Blues here God say it is drastically near Greg Halford coming off Big Sim Akinola coming on there 58 minutes on the clock think it's about right now we've had the big unit of Halford up top fighting with the Newport players when he can but it's not been too much this game for him he's been giving away too much and so now Big Sim on hopefully with a proper striker up front to maybe nick a goal here or two Dieng, Dieng's done one, go on Dieng, he's got to shoot Nathaniel, shoot, he's saved by the keeper, no, one on one, actually Nathaniel George denied in the one on one situation, could have passed Akinola Square and might have gone in, but jeez, that was the chance, that's the chance that's going to haunt us now for the rest of the game. Go on Reco, go on Reco, great pass, oh my god, Dimmy, yes, come on, cross it, Elvis, square, shoot, no, blocked out by the Cambridge defender in front of the goal, god save, Blues really pick up the tempo now, 65 on the clock, we are looking like a new side here. Dimmy standing over this one, go on, make me wrong, make me say the other words, you're a great crosser, I can only hit her, no, it's missed the post, oh, it's that... From this angle, it looks like that much away. I swear, Akinola, since he's come on here, he has changed the dynamics of this team. We're looking much more threatening on the attack now. To be fair, they said he didn't start the game because of a hamstring injury, but ever since he's come on, juice, we look like a well-oiled machine. Oh, this is a good chance for the Blues here. Free kick right on the edge of the box here. I imagine this has got to be a Tom Clifford one. There's five players round it in Ferguson, Clifford, Ack, Reco, Demi. There's loads of them round it, but I'd give this to Clifford all day long. We know he is a brilliant free kick taker. He has got to hit this one loud and proud, to be fair. It's got to be everyone is consulting him what to do. Come on, Cliffy. Come on. This is. Oh, no, it's frozen. My eye follows frozen. Nah, not now. Not now, seriously, no, not now. It is Tom Clifford to stand over this here. We're just waiting on the ref's whistle here. Clifford and Ack. It's got to be Clifford. Clifford. Clifford runs up, hits it. Load of it. Goal. 1 0. 1 0. Blues lead 1 0. Away at Rodney Parade. Holy moly. Tom Clifford on his 22nd birthday has put that in the back of the net. Looked like a dodgy deflection there in the wall, but who cares? It's 1 0. Blues away at Newport. Holy. Yes, we needed that. That goal has been coming for the last 15 minutes and finally it is in. All the players, Barmer, Osley, around Clifford there celebrating. But now it's how you can react afterwards. It's can you keep this clean sheet that we're on. I'm looking at the replay now and it does look like a deflection. Goalkeeper was wrong-footed and it did go in. But the celebrations, oh, you got to love it. What a beauty of a goal, Cliffy. 1-0. Oh, shoot! Newport have just missed an absolute sitter there. They, their number 10 was through. I think he's the captain for Newport. Was through and he's just put it across the face. Goal wide of the post. That beat everyone there. This is going to be a last hard 10 minutes to hold on for. It is 80 on the clock right now, but... Ah, uh, if there's more of that, I don't think I could take it. Oh shit, oh shit, Hobson, please do something. Hobson! Ooh, again, again, Newport so close. 83 on the clock, they were free one on one there. Hobson denied the one on one, but he still got the shot off, but it was not far away, boys and girls. Let me tell you that. Oh, that was really, that was worse than the last one. How many of these can we take before maybe we get, we slip up? We're into two minutes of the free shot on the board here. And Blues have got to defend a wide, wide free kick out. Almost on the throw-in line here. Lots and lots of players in the box there. Pretty much full teams in there. Newport, this is probably their last chance. Incoming 
front post, headed out by Ak. Great stuff. Great. Chase it, Ashley. 30 seconds left. There's literally 30 seconds. We can do this. He's had to kick it back to the keeper. Good. Good. Keeper's fluffed out. Go on, Ak. Go on. Oh, we nearly had him there. Oxley, just casually walking up to this, stepping up to it, God, Oh, he's even rolled the ball back. Come on now, Ox. Come on, just end this. We're over. We're four minutes now of added time. Ox, come on, just, just end this. Come on. Kicks it. Come on. Yes, we win! 1-0 to the Blues, away in Wales. Gotta love it. You have got to love that sort of stuff. Clifford, brilliant free kick. Review to come very shortly. But bloody hell, what a win. Full time then at Rodney Parade. Blues, we were famous 1-0 away in. And what a performance from that entire team today. A much different side to what was sawn almost 10 days ago against Port Vale. Wow, wow, wow. Second half, that team transformed itself. I've got to say, when we took off Halford and brought on Akinola, the whole presence of the team stepped up. But all of it just went much better than what we'd seen, A, in the Port Vale game, B, in that first half. I don't know if it's just because the way Akinola is with the team or the way Health for all this behind the scenes stuff, but gotta say, that does not matter right now. What we are doing, we are gonna rejoice these three points for a good few days before the weekend at least. Gotta say, man of the match, Oxley and Clifford both joined up there, I'd say. Double man of the match tonight. Clifford, yeah, deflected free kick. Who gives a flying F? We've just won one nil, taking three points. And we are also off the foot of the table, ladies and gentlemen. We are off the foot. We are going to survive. I beg we fucking survive this now. That this is hopefully. I've said it so many times after we've got some good results and then gone to Paul. This is hopefully now the time where we turn the corner and get this started. Hopefully we continue this in Saturday. I believe it's Cambridge off the top of my head. Might be wrong with that one. But, you know, I'll definitely be watching it after tonight. Gotta say, the whole team, brilliant tonight. I did the late substitution of Tyler Cordner, a bit odd. Maybe we wouldn't have brought him on considering it nearly led to a goal for Newport as well. But, hey, who cares? It's three points. Who bloody cares at all? Hey, come on then, boys and girls. I'm going to wrap this up here. I'm literally lost for words. I don't want to brag on about this anymore. So, my name's been Diversity. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff down below. We're on the road to 400 subs by the end of Feb. We are so close. We are 30 subs off. And we've got 20 days to do it. Go on. That's like, what, one and a half subs a day or something off the top of my head? So, let's keep going, boys and girls. My name's been Diversity. And it goes, peace.